Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Right Color. And it is time. I'm early. It's time for the summer solstice reading. Yay, hooray. So the solstice this year is on June 20th, which is Thursday. Um, but the energy begins you know, a little before. You know, sometimes I think, well, it's like, oh, it's happening at exactly three o'clock. It's like, yeah, you know, well, you'll probably feel it at two o'clock. You probably will feel it 24 hours before, 48 hours before, and a few days after, because you know, it's a solstice. All right. The longest day of the year. So the energy and the message is really profound, actually. It's about total surrender. It's about total surrender. So um, as you know, I get messages all the time. I used to do daily videos, but I don't anymore. Um, and I got this real clear directive. Um, I let it all go. Let it all go. All the pain, all the sorrow, all the grief, all the anger, the resentment, the past, the expectations, the um, how come this person didn't do that? all that, anything and everything that blocks me from my highest self, from my, from my highest feeling, my highest good. And I feel like this is, you know, individual and collective. So what I've been doing is I've been going to the park you know, in my blanket and I'm going to the park or different parks. I've been trying to discover different parks. I take my blanket, sit under a tree, shade, different trees all the time, and I completely open, my, so I, I lay there, like, you know, my arms outstretch, my legs outstretch, my head, I, I try to bring something in my head, and uh, like I give it all to you, I give it all, I, I ask Mother Earth to take all the pain, all the sorrow, all the disappointment, all the anger, all the fear, all the resentment, all the, um, down all the blocks, whatever I think of, like, and the message that I I, I got from the trees um, is they they love it. They they use it as nourishment. It's like nourishment for them. They're, they're so grateful that it showed up and they're willing to like really really surrender. So I'm not saying you know, stay in bed, you know, like, I have things that I, I want to, like, I have events on, on my roof, so, um, you know, I'm going to send out another email today saying, you know, come to my event, and then I let it go, I surrender it, I like it, I did what I needed to do, I surrender it, oh, this one is going to come, and that one's going to come, and this one might not come, and blah, 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 I surrender, I surrender, and what I'm surrendering to, right? What am I surrendering to? I'm surrendering to my life. I'm surrendering to my higher self. I'm surrendering to my guides. I'm surrendering to um, faith, to hope. That's the energy. That's the energy. There's so much, like nearly everything is out of control. The only thing I control is you know, so much. Uh, I mean, tomatoes are going to be tomato. I just made tomato sauce. Um, I, did I put in my tomatoes in my tomato sauce? You know, in, in six, am I going to put in eight? Yeah, et cetera. I'm just sold to my name. Like that. All right. So that's the end of it. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to, I am offering, I have to set it up before I put up the video. <clears throat> A solstice reading, you know, for the next three months, it's going to be on sale. Um, so I offer readings, I offer healings, and I'm having cataract surgery. I'm not sure of the day. I have to go back on the 21st for another consultation. I have to take my blog, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm looking to raise funds. So I'm having to go fund me or the information is below. Okay. Let's finally get to the reading. And by the way, I shuffled like crazy even before I started the video. So this is for the solstice, individually and collectively. 
Here we go. Huh. Very interesting. All right. The six, the high priestess, the seven. The six of cups, the high priestess, seven of wands. Okay. This is the card of the past. Whoop. I did it on silk today, so it's super slippery. Oh, I, this is really the card of the past, but it's about receiving a gift. And it's this energy of receiving a gift from the past, having a, a remembrance and a, uh, a reminiscence of um, <clears throat> kindness, of um, sweetness. It's nostalgic, but in a, in a sweet way, not in a Oh, things used to be the way they were. You know, it, it's this energy of like having a happy childhood memory, remembering an old friend, remembering um, when you received something, say from your teacher or from your brother or sister or from your your friend. Or you know, it's that's that's the energy. Receiving the gift of uh, being loved, right? Okay. And then we go to the high priestess, the Lady of Mystery. So. The high priestess is this, I mean, it's a dual energy, it's two. And um, it's really the choice. And she's sitting between the dark and the light. And the energy is Isis. So she creates, she's a goddess that creates. It's like the feminine aspect of creation is the way I understand the part. And, um, you know, it's like the loving divine mother. And she's going to utilize the dark and the light, create something that's abundant and, and fruitful. This is really about being in your intuition, being in the dreamscape, paying attention to your dreams, paying attention to omens and signs. So I, this park that I went to yesterday, I've never seen so many ducks in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like I had to look up to the symbolism of ducks, you know. Because there were so many, because they have a like a, a pond, you know, it's not even a pond, it's really a lake. Um, you know, it's fake, but there were so many, there were so many. They're kind of wacky. They're kind of, I really like ducks, you know, they're, they make a funny sound. They're they're kind of like they're like they're not shy, but like they kind of have their own like thing going on where they walk, the sounds they make. <clears throat> There's something really to hold about them. And there's something very like domestic about them, right? And they also they live in both the uh, the water and the land. So there's this energy of being in the intuition and then bringing it in. Anyway, um, but this she's about creation. So it's kind of like, well, I'm going to remember the lovely things that I had in the past, or the lovely memories, or. Maybe, you know, I can access something from the past and create something different and new. Maybe, you know, maybe it was a mixed bag. Kind of put together that mixed bag, right, and create something. And then I have the seven. So this is really like the card of the thief. But uh, for me, th there's an energy of confidence, right, because it's a seven. And I mean, he's super duper confident because he's it's the middle of the day. And he goes into the enemy camp and steals our ammunition with a red hat and red boots. You know, come and catch me, catch me again. Um, it's like I'm not hiding. So there's an energy in the, this card of like, I'm going to take what is useful and I'm leaving the past, I'm leaving the rest of it. So I'm going to utilize maybe some of my experiences from the past or some of my thoughts or some of my ideas. And the rest of them, you know, I'm leaving them behind. Like, I can't carry them. They're a burden. I don't need them. And sometimes it's also, I get with this part, is like, well, everyone says you should do this. It's like, that's nice. You know, I'm, I'm following my intuition. So, you know, I'm going to grab what I know is the thing to grab. You know, that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Big surprise. You know, a complete transformation. So <clears throat> letting things die, you know, it's almost like some things have to die. And it could be an attitude. 
It could be a, a way of seeing things. It could be, let's say, you, you know, you have a certain thing that always worked in the past and you keep on trying to revive it and it's not being revived. It's like, okay, well, um, I'm going to utilize the, um, the energy of it or the experience of it. And, you know, it, it's like my plants upstairs. There are certain ones that are thriving and certain ones it's like, I guess you ain't going to make it. But I have the soil and sometimes I even take the stalks and stuff and I, I cut them up and I add them to the soil because it's organic matter and it will feed the soil. And then I use that to plant something different. And that's what the death card's about. It's really about a complete transformation. A complete transformation. And the thing I feel about the death card too is this energy of, I don't recognize the way I used to think. I don't recognize what I used to do. That's what I think this whole surrender is about. I don't recognize the feelings that I used to have. Like, I don't recognize them anymore. I'm a different person. That's the feeling that I got this morning. It's almost like, and I've been having this physical weirdness and it, it's almost, it feels like growing pains. I've been having it for quite a while. And you know, when you're like 12 or 14 or whatever age, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, you know, you were, you know, five foot two and all of a sudden you're five foot six, like within the space of a year or something. It's like that. It's like, well, I'm not a little kid anymore. You know, I'm not an adult, but I'm not a little kid anymore. You know, like I could take the bus by myself. I mean, I took the bus by myself when I was a little kid, but you know, it's like, you know, I can get to the mall by myself. I can uh, have my own ideas, my own opinions, my own, it's a transformation. That's the way it feels. Okay. Yeah. And this is stability. It's a four. And, you know, it's like a mini celebration. For me, that that is really about being at home. Being at home with your own passion, being at home with your own creativity, being, in other words, being comfortable, being at ease, being um, chill in a way. And it's really about being at home with your soul, with your light, with your creativity and being relaxed in it. You know, owning, I feel like it's owning is what it feels like today. Owning your own light, your own design, or your own um, hope. It's like, this is mine, and I own it. And um, it's unique to me. And it fits. It fits. Right. And the surrender is also this this sense of accepting yourself and your life and your situations as they are, as they are. Not, oh, if only I had this relationship or this job or blah, 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 then everything would be like, no, no, no. This is where you're at in the moment, in the now. I receive it, I accept it, I surrender it. And, and there's an element of um, being in, in reality. You know? Another seven. And, you know, he is the high ground, right? And there's this element of him defending, right? And I think it's really important to defend, you know, not in an aggressive way, but knowing your worth, knowing your limits, knowing your you you know, in humility, knowing what you're good at and what you're not good at, right? But I have two sevens, so that's good. Confidence, and you know, confidence in your light. Yeah. Oh, look at this, card of joy. So this is also, um, it, you know, it's the card of joy. It's it's really happiness. It's dancing in the streets. 
It's also um, community. Finding your right tribe. Being with, the, being with the tribe who celebrates you. So, and I think that's part of the surrender. But, you know, sometimes it's like, so there's somebody that you know, works, like there's a store downstairs, it's like, you know, like the next building, two buildings on. And they want to practice any way she wants. They're full of shit. And every time I invite them over, oh, but you know, and then in the middle of the afternoon, it's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm busy. And I have, I, you know, like it doesn't revolve around, like, oh, you're like practicing English right now in this moment. No, no, no. So it's like, well, that's not part of my community. You know, like the community is someone I bring something to and they bring something to me. There's this energy of exchange, not this energy of one sidedness. There's an energy of community, there's an energy of three people celebrating the same event, the same moment, right? So in the past year or two, people have come and people have gone and quite a lot. And um, see who's still there and, and work with that instead of, you know, this, this energy. Oh, like, like that that's part of the surrender you know if, if somebody you know walks away out of your life don't go running after them yeah look at that look at that so this is a court of wealth and it's intergenerational wealth so it's this energy of family, this energy of dynasty, but it doesn't have to be the physical family. It doesn't have to be, you know, the family you grew up with. Maybe the family that you formed are the people you met in college. Maybe the family that you formed are like the three or four friends that you had when you were a little kid and you're still in touch with. And even though you might be different, you know, one's a scientist and one's a uh, uh, a business person and one's an uh, artist, blah, blah, blah. There's a, a certain sense of family there, even though there's not that much in common with it, right? So that's the energy of like, this is what it is. It's really about being confident in your own value in your own um, talent, your own, um, what, you, what you offer, who you are, right? And knowing and expecting, and, you know, not in, a, in an overly weird way. Like, if I radiate kindness, then kind people are going to find me. If I radiate curiosity, right? And curious people can find me, right? Like I would love to, <laughs> this is my expectation. I'm, I'm deep into the archeology span here. Like I'm, I'm really into it. I watch videos of the time. The more I can learn, the more I wanna learn. I would love to meet uh, a Mexican who was in, into it as I am. So we could talk about it, you know? Because I mean, most people like, I don't know, they're just not that interested. Okay, fine. But they'll come, they'll come. And that would be the family, right? Because we have like a, a common interest or a common understanding or a common curiosity or a common Is this another seven? Indeed. July. I don't really read time, but this is a three month reading. And, the, and the, it's seven, it's three seven, so it's July. Sevens are really about, seven is such a mystical number. You know? um, it's the four and the three. And the four is really about stability and this plane and 
the physical world, a cube, so to speak, a square, cube. it's really solid, it's really um, physical. And then the three, which is really about creativity. You know, there's a reason that seven figures really prominent in the modern ancient um, they play the same song that I can't remember if you could hear it, but it's like it's the same song. It's not even that good. So the seven is your okay. So this seven is really about I'm planting the seeds in the garden and I know they're going to grow. Right. And the ones, this is the other part of it. The ones that grow are the ones that were supposed to grow, and the ones that didn't bloom or come to, but I surrender. I surrender. Well, the ones that are supposed to grow will grow, and the ones that are not supposed to grow, this could be a job, this could be a relationship, this could be an action you're taking. Like, okay, right? Because I have confidence. And, you know, not everything grows. And it's a blessing. Okay. Moving the cards. I think half the video is moving the cards. Look, you're being reborn between this and the death card. This is really what's going on. Okay. And I've been talking about it for months, you know, but it, it's really, this is, it, it's time to like, it's a the expression in the music. Gabriel comes through, right? This is about my lesson has been incorporated to such an extent that I'm reborn. My lesson has been incorporated. My lesson of the past, my experience of the past. The past is over and done. I I got what I got from it, right? And I can't go back. I'm not going to sit around and go, oh, oh, it's so wonderful like that. Like, no, no, no. It, it brought me to where I'm mean, right here, right? Is an inevitability. Change. Okay. That's the hierophant. The hierophant is basically the Pope on Earth. Right? And the spiritual aspect of that card is receiving the messages and receiving the hierarchy from heaven. Receiving the hierarchy from heaven. This is like a high priest. A high priestess. Receiving the hierarchy from heaven. And the understanding of order, the understanding of what goes where, establishing it on the earth for society and, and maintaining it and building it. And there's an element of ritual to it. There's an element of stability. There's an element of um, tradition. So it's it's almost like bringing up new tradition, building a new family, planting new seeds in a new garden, being confident, using what's good from the past and following your intuition in joy and in understanding that you understand and in the acknowledgement that the lessons have been learned and now it's time to build something new. You know, so I study archaeology informally. And there's this one site that I want to go to, and it, um, they don't really know. It was sort of a standalone site, and they're not really sure who built it. And it seems like it was a big trading hub in um, ancient times, and they can see influence. Uh, it was mostly city-states here. That's what it really mostly was. It wasn't really like an empire that you think of in Europe. It was really more city-state energy. So a lot of them, they would have things in common depending upon the culture. But, you know, yeah, it's almost like, uh, you know, how like certain cities, like they'll compete with, uh, you know, like ball games, right? Well, they don't say ball games, you know, like that, right? So the culture of baseball, say, 
is the same everywhere, but there's a different energy to the, you know, the Dodgers than to the, I can't even think of another freaking ball. Obviously, I think they follow it really religiously. Um, Cubs, the Cubs, right? The Chicago Cubs, what are they? They call uh, the Yankees. Okay. All right. <laughs> there's a different culture. There's a different energy. There's a different uniform. There's a different, uh, maybe there's a different uh, strategy. You know, just how they're going to win. And, oh, we're, we're better at defense. They were, they're better at offense. You know, blah, 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 blah. So there's this energy in that in that city. Uh, so that's why they don't know who built it. And that's that's I, I feel like it's combining those sort of things. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. I don't know why I went up in the country. And the strength part, beautiful. Beautiful. The eternity. The strength card is about the union of body. And it, it, it's a, um, a blessed union between your mental facilities, your, between spirit and your physical body, and um, allowing yourself to be led by the eternity of your life, by the eternity of your higher self. And that's what the whole surrender is about. It's like, well, I thought this and thought that. And so, you know, I've been trying to get sort of steady work here for a long time. And I try this and I try that. And I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of like, doors slam in my face, like the truth. Not, you know, that's just an expression. It hasn't been quite like that. Well, sometimes it has been. And it's like, okay, you know, I tried. And, you know, and then sometimes that, you know, a door that was, uh, you know, closed opens up again, or it opens up in a new way, or, you know, maybe the window opens, you know, or maybe I'm, as I continue to walk down this path, um, you know, like you're looking for directions, right? You're, you're, you're looking for direction. So you knock on someone's room, how do you get that light on? But, my friend in the blue house, go to the blue house, film them, right? And then maybe as you're talking to the person in the blue house, the person in the in the original pink house comes by and says, oh, by the way, I made you lunch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? You know, it, it's like, okay, I let go. You know, I tried, I let go. And, you know, because sometimes you ask people, like most Mexicans are super friendly here and really helpful and really honest and really... Um, giving but there are some people here that are like there you go like, okay yeah. okay right and then maybe one day they'll want to wear an English and they go oh do I buy some English mm -hmm. you got money we'll figure it out so it's the union of body and mind it's a beautiful reading it's a beautiful reading and I have, this is interesting, this, uh, the only one I don't have is uh, Aquarius, but I have Scorpio, Taurus, and the card of, Scorpio, the card of Taurus, and the card of Leo. And those are all fixed signs. So, the fixed signs have this energy of having the vision, or having the idea, or having the desire, say, and not, but being able to manifest it, all being able to manifest it, you know, to like get really focused on manifesting, you know, via surrender, via surrender. Like, because, like, believe me, I've tried so many different things here, and my, my life has been like that. And, I give you everything. And now, uh, like whatever my instinct says to do, it said to do this first today. So that's what I mean. I made my tomato sauce and then I'm doing that. And then I have other, you know, things that I 
you want to or do. So I'll invite people to the event yeah, again. And then I let go. Whoever's supposed to show up will show up. And sometimes people show up with friends. And sometimes people, you know, uh, this one didn't show up or I changed the time. Or it's like, okay, be flexible. Okay, I'm going to throw three more. You know, oh my God. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. If you remain in the center, in your heart, in your life, then whatever's going on around you is whatever's going on around you, right? The other, there's a there's an energy of completion in this card, it's 10. And there's also, here are the fixed signs again, by the way, <clears throat> aside from Aquarius. So that's interesting that, you know, unless the star comes up, we'll see. Um, you've evolved. You evolve and you come back to center. You've evolved. You've gone through a revolution of the wheel, right? You've evolved. You've come back to center. I've come back to myself. I've come back to my heart. I've come back to my light. Come back to my light, and I'm going to speak to, and listen to, and be guided by. I surrender. The other part I thought was going to come up. I only have two more was the hanging on. I surrender myself to myself. I surrender myself to my life. I surrender my, myself to my highest healing, my highest um, good. Right here, right now, in this life, in this time. Hello? It's time to break out. It's time to break out. It's almost like if I surrender to my light completely, then I'm capable of a lot more and I will experience a lot more than my limited understanding or the, the confines that I put myself in. I can do that. Try it. Maybe you can. Right? That's the energy sometimes of this card, of the tower. It's like, I, I, sometimes the, the, the tower is like an upheaval from the outside world. And it had both the death and the tower. So it, it seems like it's an upheaval, upheaval from both the inner and the outer world. Uh, it, it's time for me to be in my gifts. It's time for me to be in my, in my light. In my, because the tower comes to shake us up to say, you no longer vibrate here, you vibrate somewhere else. So sometimes, you know, it's like a, a social thing, right? Well, I used to really hang around with all these people, and now, like, I don't, I don't really vibe with them. We don't meet. We don't understand. We don't. It's like a terrible battle, right? Like, we don't communicate anymore. So, I'm going to find this new, the new people in the Three of Cups, the new people in the Ten of Pentacles, right? Maybe people from the past who I've forgotten or I'm not in touch with. Maybe they're the ones who are going to show up, or maybe the memory of that or the energy of that um, is going to show up and gift me. Who knows? Choices, choices, choices. So the thing about this card, and I only have sevens. You know, there's the rest of the numbers, it's like nothing's happening. And have the sevens right in the middle of the reading. Really interesting. Interesting. So, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's a book between a rock and a hard place, la la la, you know, trying to make a decision. It's definitely time to make a decision. It's the only, not the only, okay. It, there's this energy of like, I'm not going to, I'm going to rely on something or I have to rely on something other than what I see. I have to rely on action. I have to rely on my. Healing, I have to rely on my intuition. I have to rely on my energy. I have to rely on what it feels like in my body in order to know how and when I need to go to move forward. And what's like go of? And what's like go of? Really fascinating. I'll show you everything. 
And I will do, I think I will also do a full moon ring in which I have 24, which is nice. All right. Thank you. All right, I'm going to start here with this, you know. Okay, there's completion of a cycle. You've learned the lesson. Take what you need and leave the rest. Let your intuition be your guide. Call the energy, the past that was kind and nurturing in order to transform and to be comfortable with yourself. You don't really have to be defensive because some new, there, there's a new sense of spirit that's being established with you. You've broken out of this limited thought pattern, this limited social and um, confinement. That's what it feels like. <clears throat> your intuition will come through your body and the union of your body, your mind, body, and spirit. Plant the seeds that you need to plant, you know, and trust that the ones that are going to grow are going to be very abundant and full and full of joy. Very nice. That's a nice reading. A very nice reading. All right. If you want a private reading, if you want one specifically for this coming season, um, healing, um, I can help you to move energy, like release trauma and receive hope. Um, I also offer meditations, and if you'd like to support me for cataract surgery, like once I got the diagnosis, I'm going to come to the most like It's almost like once I got the diagnosis, it became I was going to say really clear, no, really fuzzy. Like everything became fuzzy. Like now, looking at myself, I can barely see this. You know, I mean, I know where my eyes and my nose and my mouth are, but like details. So I, you know, the sooner the better. The sooner the better. And it's been going on for a few months. And you know, like, oh, you know, it's just this, it's just that. It's like no, no, no. It's fine to take care of. It. That's right, take care of it. Anyway, um, all the information for all that stuff is below. Enjoy the summer. Enjoy the summer. And uh, if I can help you in any way, please be in touch. Blessings. Bye.